All right, let's take a look. And I would like you to focus on what controls the stereochemistry outcome. How do we get the anti-addition product? Okay. All right, uh, this is the, um, the halogenation um, of alkene. So we use X as a halide. Okay. And the carbon tetrachloride uh, is a solvent, so it doesn't really pay, uh, play a big role in here. All right. All right, just focus on the reagent. We have alkene, we have halogens, right? chloride, bromide, iodide. I first attack the other X leaves, and one of the X so I got lower power on it, and the carbocation right there um, attack from a three member three. Uh, by the way, so there are multiple uh, proposed mechanisms for this reaction. I just show one of them, okay? But the outcome is still the pretty, pretty much the same thing. All right, anyway, the X um, that comes out, bromide, chloride, or iodide, come back and backside attack, and you get an anti addition. Well, this on one side, the X also can do the other side, and you get the other one. You know, uh, these two relationships, they are in Anchormer. Okay. All right. Now, so what control the, um, the stereochemical outcome? Why do we get the anti product? Well, this guy right here, you know, that right there controls the uh, stere uh, stereochemistry. X had to attack from the other side. All right. All right. We'll come back to you one more time. If you don't get what I'm saying earlier, I, I will come back here. Don't worry. All right, let's do one more. Right. Same thing we call a uh, hollow hydrogen formation. We have X, okay, so halide, same thing. But this time we add either water or eth uh, ethanol as a solvent. Go back right here. Carbon tetrachloride is not nucleophilic solvent, so it doesn't do anything. It's not nucleophilic. But uh, water or alcohol, they got long hair, and with a large amount, it will do some backside attack. Okay, sorry, not backside attack, but nucleophilic attack. All right, all right, same thing. The first step happened the same thing, so we form a halonium ion, right? But this time, uh, X, the amount of uh, halides are not a lot, very, very small compared to large amount of solvent, water, or ethanol, whatever you use as a solvent, floating around. That's a majority of the solution. Um, those come attack first, you know, and X on the top phase. Uh, water comes in, attack from the bottom face, look like that, and deprotonation. That's an anti product. You know? uh, water can do the same thing on the other side. You know? And uh, after um, um, deprotonation, you get the other product. You know? So, this two. This were in enantiomer. Now, same thing. What controls the stereochemistry outcome? That X. Okay? That X makes uh, the product uh, become trans right? or anti addition. All right. Try one more time. So this one we use um, uh, epoxidation and then hydrolysis after. Right. So MCPBA or peroxide. Make sure you know the structure of MCPBA. Okay. All right. We take the uh, one of the uh, peroxide. So <clears throat> uh, sorry, my, my bad. Peroxy acid. Okay. That uh, oxygen that I level in blue. That's gonna be your reagent. So all right, it goes like that. All right. So we got the oxide. Uh, this oxygen. On, uh, on alkene, look like that. And we do hydrolysis, so protonation, uh, make it more reactive, and then we do hydrolysis, All right? So the protonation down here, you get the um, anti-product, yeah? Uh, water can do the same thing on the other side, and after the protonation, you get the, this enantiomer. So same thing, that control the stereochemistry, all right? Now, overall, anti-addition, okay? they go through the same intermediate, the three membered ring intermediate like that. So what do they do? This intermediate, one X gets on alkene, one one's oxygen gets on alkene. It, these two block nucleophilic attack from whatever the side it is, it's on. So in this case, so where I have X and oxygen on the top phase, right? Which means that the incoming nucleophile must attack from the other side, from the bottom phase, can't go from the top. Okay, so that the intermediate control the stereochemistry outcome. You see that? All right, all right. So we have uh, anti addition, we have syn addition. One more, we're going to go to um, mixed addition. And the same drill, I want you to focus on what control the stereochemistry outcome. Okay, all right, let's take a look at the next video.